In this lesson, I'll show you the complete set of steps you need to calculate the acceleration of a system with friction. The question reads, two masses are arranged with one of 50 kilograms on a frictionless table and the other of 30 kilograms attached by a cord and hanging over a frictionless pulley. Find the acceleration of the system and assuming a coefficient friction of mu is equal to 0.20 between the block and table, find the acceleration. So for the first part of this question, we are assuming that there is no friction, and the second part deals with friction. Let's start with the easier of the two, finding the acceleration of the system. Notice that the masses are connected via a cord. So because the two masses are connected, there will be one acceleration and one tension. There's one tension between these two masses. And because this part is frictionless, the only force that is pulling against this mass is the tension along this cord. So I can represent the force as it relates to mass and acceleration via the formula F is equal to MA, where the mass is equal to 50 kilograms, the acceleration of the system is what we're looking for, and the force is the tension that's unknown. In relation to this mass, let's assume that the acceleration is going clockwise, so it's going this way. So in that case, again we'll use F is equal to MA, and the force here will be represented by the expression, the force of this mass being exerted through gravity minus the tension. So how do we find the force given gravity? Let's do a calculation on the side. We have F is equal to MA, the mass is 30, and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. So if we multiply these two numbers out, we end up with 294. So as I said, I will be replacing this with 294 minus the tension is equal to the mass of 30 and the shared acceleration in the system. At this point, you can substitute this expression where you see a T and then solve for A. So we have 294 minus 58, and that is equal to 30A. All we do now is bring over the like terms, so we have 30A plus 50A, and that's equal to 80A, 294. Dividing both sides by 80, 294 divided by 80 should give us the value of A. So 294 divided by 80 gives us 3.675, 3.675 meters per second squared. That is the acceleration that's shared in the system between these two masses. And because we assume that it was going clockwise, and the fact that this is positive, then it is in fact going clockwise. Had we assumed that it's going counterclockwise, this expression would change, it would have been T minus 294, and the acceleration would have come out as negative. Because we assume that it's going counterclockwise and it's negative, then you would choose the opposite and say that it is clockwise. So that's the answer for A, and if you want, you can simply write this down as 3.7 meters per second squared. Let's move on to B. Assuming that a coefficient of friction, mu is equal to 0.20 between the block and table, find the acceleration. So how does this change the scenario? Here's how. First of all, tension is not the only force that's being exerted on this mass. Now we have to take into account the fact that there is friction. And the way we do that is again we use F is equal to MA, Newton's second law. And we write down 50 times 9.8 times this number, that factor, 0 decimal 2, 0. So multiplying these out, we have 0 0.20 times 50 times 9.8 gives us a value of 98. So we have this force and tension along this cord. How do we modify this formula? Because we're assuming that it is going clockwise, remember our original assumption, we will keep this formula the same, but this one will change as T minus 98 is equal to 50A. And again, we use the techniques we know in mathematics to solve for A. So we have this equation, and again, this equation that is unmodified. We solve for T. By bringing that over, we have T is equal to 50A 
plus 98. We'll take this expression and substitute it into t, where we have 294 minus bracket 50a plus 98 is equal to 30a. Now we throw this negative into this expression where we have 294, and by the way, that's called expanding, minus 50a minus 98. And now we play the solving game. We just bring that over. We have 30a plus 50a, that makes 80a. And on the left side, we're left with 294 minus 98. That's 196. Don't forget the a. Dividing both sides by 80 gives us 196 divided by 80. And we have 2.45. So this makes sense. If you think about it, the acceleration decreased because now there's a force of friction that's preventing that mass from moving to the right quickly. 2.45 meters per second squared is the answer for B. And that is how to calculate the acceleration of a system when taking into account friction.